we are hoping we'll be able to cater for requests. It depends on our own availability, of course. Now, you also know that the Commission has revised its guidelines on the authorisation system for authorising the allocation of protective equipment to specifically take into account the situation in our neighbourhood countries, and that includes, of course, countries in the Balkans. The aim being to ensure that member states will try to cater for the requests which are coming in. The Commission is also looking at the possibility of involving candidate countries and countries in the Balkans in initiatives which the Commission and the EU are currently establishing. And we're also looking at how we can redirect assistance from programmes which are perhaps already underway or which were soon to be underway in such a way as to support countries so that they can combat the coronavirus. As we've clearly said, this is a global crisis. We need cooperation. And, and this was announced by the delegations on the spot, we have already come up with 7.5 million for Serbia and up to 5 million for Kosovo in funds. So this is an ongoing exercise. We are basically looking at how we can redirect funds to our neighbouring countries to help them to tackle this um, difficult issue which, of course,